rain leak. Perfect on my end. Perfectly signed. <laughs> oh, baby. We've never done it perfectly, or never except except with next episode because we won't even have to sync because we'll be right there holding each other's toes together. Ooh, toes? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Ooh, I hate that idea of like interlocking toes. <laughs> it's awful. But that's what we have to tell the people to get them excited for next episode. Yeah, interlocking toes episode. You ever realize we record some of these videos and it's like, how is that going to turn into something that people want to click on? <gasps> the toe episode. Toe episode. <laughs> Brain toes. Yeah. Toe leak. Brain toes. Toe leak. Oh, Ugh, Infected toes? I don't like that. Welcome back, everybody, to the Brain Leak podcast. Who's got their grippers out right now? Because I do. I'm oh. barefoot right now. No socks, no nothing. I I think I've talked about this before. Unless I am showering or in some sort of body of water or at the beach, I guess. I've always got my toes covered. I don't like not wearing socks. I don't know why. What do you think is going to happen? Well, first of all, my feet are very sensitive to the objects around it. If I walk on a carpet, it might feel weird. I don't know. And then I'll go, oh, yeah, I don't like the way that that feels. Or I, I hate the feeling of because your feet are always like a little bit sweaty, even though if they're not sweaty at all, like they're always like a little bit. And so you're picking up dirt. You're picking up crumbs on the floor. You oh, know? yeah. Like your socks aren't doing that. No, they are doing that. But I don't feel it as much because it's the sock that's taking the brunt of that. Not that's fair. The foot. <laughs> not the foot. <laughs> Not the foot. I just like having my grippers out. I just like yeah, fucking like, free balling. I'm like rubbing my toes together right now. You can't even see it. I can't even see it. Do you? Do you have? You have carpet in your office, right? Yeah. Yeah. You have you have carpet in there. So you do you grip the little carpet with your with your little toes? It's, it's like, like a velvety yeah, carpet, yeah, yeah. so you can't do that. Ugh, I hate velvet. You were in my house. You oh. didn't mind it. I didn't have my I didn't have my bare toes out. <laughs> the puppies weren't fucking soaring. No, you should do they that. Weren't. We're oh. making you get your feet out when you're here. God, for the toe episode. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> we'll we'll just do a whole episode where it's like our feet in front of microphones, and we just <laughs> animate them up and down. <laughs> That's our April Fool's That's idea. <laughs> That's a really funny idea. Actually, just sh just filming our bare feet, just like the the soles of our feet, for an hour, and yeah. then we just try and stay really, really still, and then we just mask out our face, put it on the bottom of our feet, <laughs> just put it on the big toe. The big toe is clearly oh. the head of your feet, <laughs> and then it we, is. we'll get little hats, put them on top mm -hmm. of the big toe. Ah. Oh. Yes. Who do you think of the toes? So we've got the big toe. We've got the middle toe. We've how do, what do you the call second toe isn't toe? the middle toe. That's the index toe. Oh, the index toe. Yeah, I guess it is. The one well, after that is the middle toe. Middle toe, and then the ring toe. The ring toe and baby toe. And then the <laughs> and, and the then the, piggy. the piggy toe. The little piggy. Which one do you think has the least amount of respect globally? I think the yeah, ring not toe. Not amongst each other. I think the ring, ring toe. toe. I don't like the idea of toe rings. I really don't. Well, that ties into what you were saying about not liking stuff on your feet. Yeah, I just, it, it, I think it looks weird. I mean, I don't like feet in general. I, I think they're bad. <laughs> sure. But. Says the foot guy. It's like, who farted? Hm. Smells and weird Wasn't in here, me. guys. <laughs> Smells kind of, uh, you know, actually, it's not that bad when you really <laughs> smell it. <laughs> yeah, I actually kind of like that smell. What do you guys think? Yeah, me too. I hated that. <laughs> <laughs> the immediate reverse of like, I actually kind of like that smell. What do you think? Yeah, I I also hated yeah, it. Yeah, <laughs> it's stupid what I said. Oh. Never mind. Oh, my I'm, man. I think people overreact about feet online. You see people take pictures now and they're like, oh, I'm I'm putting an emoji over my feet because I don't want any weirdos out there doing it. It's like, you know, there's just as many people who are into hands 
and like yeah. shoulders and like people want to fuck your armpits. It doesn't matter this who you are. They they want to fuck your nose. The people are weird. And I some do people, think people some people over. out there. <laughs> some people. I don't know who. I, I, I yeah, don't know. Th any. Those ear guys. Oh. Oh. Where do they hang out? And what's Show the address? Me your ears. Show me pictures of your ears. I want wiki ears. <laughs> wiki ears. <laughs> There's got to be there. Is there wiki hands? I mean, I'm sure there is for every body part. But I I hope so. I I bet. But I think I, people are like, oh, you're giving them away for free. It's like their feet. It's weirder that you're bringing this up. I have never once in my life thought that feet were weird to show. Mm-hmm. I just don't like looking at feet. I don't like my own feet. Yeah. I mean... But, you know, we'll like, wait for the toe episode. Sure. So, <laughs> some guys out there, like, they want to fuck some feet. I get it. A foot mm -hmm. job is a real thing. Mm -hmm. But, like... They'll do that with anything. They're probably they're probably more into it because you're denying it to them. Uh, you know, rule thirty four: if you can think it, you can fuck it. <laughs> <laughs> That's what rule thirty four should be changed to. If you can think it, you can fuck it. <laughs> What's the first thirty three rules? What's rule number one? Don't talk about Fight Club. Rule two, have fun. Rule three, not Treat in the pool. like you want to be treated. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's like wait, the first ten rules are the Ten Commandments. Then after that, it's like live, laugh, love. What are the first 33 rules? <laughs> it's like rule 18, kill a baby. <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> The first rules of the internet. Uh, oh, that's well, no, what they rule are. Rule 34, if there's this. Uh, there's no way that's the 34th rule. I, I, that had to be top five. Okay, rules of the internet. Mm. Uh, do not talk about, and then it's like a subreddit, but it doesn't actually say the name of it. And then rule number two, do not talk about that same subreddit. Oh. Number three, we are... Oh, this is anonymous because it says we are anonymous and then for anonymous is legion. Anonymous never forgives all anonymous <laughs> stuff. That's why the porn one is 34th. Because it's like, <laughs> dude, I think anonymous is pretty cool. Rule six, what do you think? Rule seven, yeah, they're pretty dope. <laughs> Rule number 12, anything you say can and will be used against you. Those which are is Miranda the start of rights. The, the Miranda rights. <laughs> And rule 13, anything you can say can be turned into something else. Huh? Wow. Okay. Internet sure the, is cool. Rule 15, the harder you try, the harder you will fail. <laughs> oh, what is this? Okay, well. Rule, rule so, 20, the harder you jerk it, the harder you get. <laughs> Hold on. So, rule 34 is... And I just found this by looking it up on a random subreddit. Who knows if this is actually the the quote unquote rules? Rule thirty four is there is porn of it, no exceptions. <laughs> rule thirty five: if no porn is found at the moment, it will be made. <laughs> <laughs> rule thirty six: uh, just wait. <laughs> Rule 36 is there will always be even more fucked up shit than what you just saw. <laughs> what is this? The rule rule 39 the internet. Cap, cap, caps lock is cruise control for cool. <laughs> <laughs> Who the fuck? This is <sighs> definitely some subreddit made these up. <laughs> this is so funny. Oh, this is really, really funny. Jeez. Well, now we know the rules. Now we I'm know sad Fight Club's not in there. I know. But maybe that's what fight the first two rules were don't talk about whatever. Uh, yeah. You didn't actually say what it was. Rule 49, profit. <laughs> Rule 47, oh, you will man. never have sex. <laughs> <laughs> You will never have sex. Yeah. <laughs> Rule 41. Everything is someone's sexual fetish. There it is. Yes, there it is. Absolutely everything. People want you to burp on them. 
People want you mm-hmm. to fucking sniffle your nose as they come. People want everything. Uh, I just love it when you have a cold. <laughs> <laughs> really gets me going. Hello, Fresh. Hello, Fresh. Do you like cooking? Yes, but it is such a chore to go out to the store and get more food. Don't do that anymore. You don't think so? Go online. Hello, Fresh. HelloFresh.com slash BrainLeak. Use code BrainLeak for free breakfast for life. For life? Free breakfast for life? Free One breakfast? breakfast item per box of subscription is active? That's free breakfast for life that's at HelloFresh.com slash BrainLeak with code BrainLeak. Oh, that's cool. That's actually pretty dope. That's pretty dope. If you didn't know if, what HelloFresh is, you get ingredients, you make a meal, and they give you a thing that you can follow the instructions. I'm not selling it very well. No, not at all. They send you a box full of lovely fresh ingredients. You have to, you don't have to worry about going to the store and getting a bunch of ingredients, and then you're, you're wasting a bunch because you're not using everything for the whole recipe. They send you exactly what you need for exactly the recipe that you want. You can go on their website, pick out the recipes that you want to cook, and then you cook them yourself. They're wonderful. Wonderful, healthy, delicious meals for you, shipped right to your door for you to cook at home. He said it way better than I did. I just said, hello, Fresh. You don't have to say hello every time. But you should say hello, Fresh, to hello, Fresh. We already gave you the link at the start of the ad. We did it backwards. HelloFresh.com slash BrainLink. Use code BrainLink. Breakfast for life. You know, the human psyche is a fascinating thing. Yeah, it's don't so fa- don't delve in there. It'll fuck and you, you up. And you can always trace everything back. Why do you like to fuck the armpit? Yeah. Well, you can trace that back. I always think Man. people always put like pain and sexual stuff together. And I'm like, is that because those synapses are like right next to each other in your brain? Mm. So it's that like they, sense, they like crossed over one another by accident. Only a couple letters of difference between pain and pleasure. Mm. Yeah, no. Both start with P. And it's so weird that the missing letters in the word pain for pleasure is C O C K. You can't you can't oh make that God. up. No. No, you can't. <laughs> was, that, was that a good one? <laughs> yeah, that was real good. Oh now, cool. Listen. <laughs> Hey, I have a question. Yes. Speaking of pain. Ethan, yes. Yes. Uh, speaking of pain, you posted on the World Wide Web oh, that yeah. you got in a nasty fight with a piece of furniture. I, I don't know if I'm making myself look bald here. <laughs> you can kind of <laughs> see it. It's kind of gone. It didn't hurt. Man, I, for those of you who are listening only to audio, it's one of the biggest, gruesomest gashes I've yeah, ever seen in my here, life. Can you, can you hear it? That's what it sounds oh, like. Man, it sounds so painful. <laughs> I I got my sim rig, my racing sim rig, and I started putting Whoa! it together, but <laughs> and he crashed a car. <laughs> <laughs> I turned the motion way too high and like smashed into the monitors. <laughs> I <laughs> I uh, had a couple of drinks, got in the sim uh-huh. rig, <laughs> decided to drive oh. home, went through the wall <laughs> into the living room. <laughs> Evelyn's watching TV. You just come through the wall. <laughs> Be like, Whoa, it's so realistic. <laughs> it's like that video where the guy falls through the ceiling and then he's like, uh, hey, hey Ron. <laughs> hey, Bill. That hurt. <laughs> um, I got it set up. It took me fucking forever, mainly because the instructions for these things, I guess because it's only a certain type of people who are buying this stuff. A, you either have to have money or an engineering degree. And a lot of the people who are building it probably know a little bit about it already. So when I was putting it together, I'm like, these instructions suck. I was following two videos and their manual online at the same time. And I was like, what goes where? Nothing's labeled. There was no like A piece and B piece and A goes into B. They really could learn from Ikea. How? I don't know. How is nothing labeled? I guess because it's... figure it out? I guess because it's just like, well, there's only two pieces this long, so they have to be like the length of the body. So I was like, it took me like six hours to put this thing together. Most people probably do it in like an hour. And I was like, how does this work? (laughs) Where does anything go? 
Um, but because they're like they're like really big, heavy pieces of aluminium, so mm -hmm. it's like really rock solid. Like when you sit in it, you can't move the thing at all, which you need. But they have like shaved edges. It's just like sheer cut aluminium. So the edges of it are like really sharp. And I was putting the monitors on and I was like doing something and I got up and right in the corner just smashed me right in the head. And it was just like a oh. little dunk. And I was like, oh, and I was like, that's going to be blood, isn't it? And I touched it. I was like, oh, man. I was like, I got to get a picture of this. <laughs> <laughs> but the picture in the picture then I was like, man, it looks like I just poured fake blood on my head. And then it did look fake. It did look a little fake. Shot on iPhone. Samsung would never. Samsung would just show me exactly how blood looks. Mm -hmm. uh, but yeah, Sorry. that's what happened. It didn't hurt. Afterwards, I was like, nope, fine. It doesn't hurt at all. But I had a big plaster on my head all day. <laughs> and I, I have banged myself into this thing like 15 times already. It's just big pieces of metal everywhere. And it's just boom, bing. <laughs> Can you even move it once it's built? Like, how heavy is it? It's not so it heavy that you can't huge. move it, but it's it's pretty heavy. I don't know how heavy it would be, but it's definitely, like, over 50 pounds. Is that, that's what not that heavy. It, what was it like, the maiden voyage? Uh, very rough. So I got, I didn't realize, I got an integrated triple screen stand, and then I didn't realize that everyone hates the integrated ones because when the thing moves, all the screens move. And everyone thinks that that would be oh. cool because they see videos of that and like the whole thing in flight sims moving is kind of cool. Yeah. But when you're in a car, it's like your eyes kind of compensate for the horizon all the time and the bounce of the car. So when you're in a car, oh. the whole thing is shaking. Like if, if your head shook like that in a car, no one would be allowed to drive. <laughs> So I, I didn't think about that. Actually. I had that, but every time I would move, the whole thing would just like shake and rattle. And then Evelyn was like, "Did you crash at one point?" And I was like, "I crashed lots of times." And she was like, "Cause I just heard like an unholy <laughs> racket at one point." <laughs> and I was like, "Yeah, it's probably because I, I hit the like side of the thing. And it was like the whole thing shook." And it got to a point where it's like you anticipated, like when you're crashing in a racing game, you're like, "Oh no!" But in this one, I was like. Ooh, and I like winced and I was like, here he comes. And then I like fucking uh -huh. jerk me all over the place. <laughs> yeah, how much how much movement do you actually get? You sent me a, a video the other day. Yeah. Um also to add to that, how much is it like kind of plug and play as far as the movement of it? Or can you like adjust it and kind of dial it in? Or? Oh, you can really like dial it in. You can do whatever you want. So the hydraulics have an inch and a half of movement. So anywhere within that, they move. But inch and a half is way too much. When you have it at 100%, the whole thing, it's like being in like the worst turbulence of your life. Like the whole house is shaken. But it's. Well, an inch and a half is way more than you need. That's it's way above average. Massive. Way above. Like, you'll have you a can... good time with an inch and a no. half. It, no, like, half that is like, it's fine. It's enough movement. Yeah. It's more about what It'll you're doing with that up. inch and a half anyway. Mm -hmm. It's about the ocean, the motion within. In the within. sim rig, yeah. In the sim rig, yeah. Um, no, I, I was looking up videos of guys and like dialing, like some people are like pro. There's a guy called Daniel Morad who... Is like a pro GT driver and he like does sim racing and he had settings. And I was like, I'll put yours in because I trust your judgment on this stuff. And it it turned out really well. But it's like too much motion is just really annoying. Because every time you shift yeah. gears, the whole thing like jerks. And then every time you like go around corners, it's like, wee! <laughs> I'm excited to sit in it and go. <laughs> yeah, you actually know how to drive and drive cars. So I'm curious what you think. It's I got into a Formula One car in it. It's impossible. It's, I got into something called iRacing, which is like, first of all, I need to talk about iRacing because it's a fucking scam. But it has like some of the most realistic physics and like everyone, a, a lot of people agree that it's probably one of the best sims around. But mm. I tried that. I hit the throttle. The whole car just spun in a circle. And I was like, what the fuck? <laughs> and I like did half throttle and the whole thing just took off on me. And then I, I you're so used to like braking hard and like taking your turns and whatever. But this one, it was just like, you barely have to break. You just... <laughs> fucking scared the shit out of me. But iRacing is a thing that you get, like, cars in it, and you can drive around. But you have to pay for each car. 
And each car huh? is like $15 or like $10 per track. Why? I got like three tracks and four cars and it cost me like $90. And I was like, this is a, this is bullshit. Why? Just because it's like more realistic? I guess because each car has like such meticulousness got into it and everything is like perfectly modeled and the physics are great. But I also think it's like people who play it probably have their favorite car, like a GT3 BMW or something. And then they're like, I just want to race that all the time. I don't care about anything else. So they just paid that. But it's like you have to pay for all the tracks as well. That's stupid. Yeah. It's fucking scam. What, what you what you've been playing mostly? Uh, I racing for one. And then Assetto Corsa Competizione, which is like ah. a really realistic sim racer as well. But it only has GT cars in it. Mm. I, I, I realize what I'm missing is like a Gran Turismo career mode in a lot of these games. I want to get yeah. in and like unlock cars as I go and like <laughs> dial it in and tune it up and like get a progression. But I guess that's, that's not. That's why I like Forza a lot. Yeah. It's fun. But I don't really like the new Very. Forza Motorsport because it was kind of. I haven't, I haven't tried it. Ethan, balls, question mark? <laughs> yeah, I've got them, and they're hairy ass, all right, baby? Hairy ass? Well, this will help with that as well. If you got a hairy ass, I've got a monumentally hairy ass. Mm -hmm. I My ass is about as hairy as Ethan's feet. Yes, <laughs> that's true. I've got hobbit feet. And I've got a hobbit ass. That need to be trimmed, both of them. Ooh, you could use Manscaped for that as well. <gasps> I could use Manscaped with their new Lawnmower 5.0? This is, it's, uh, is, this is about Manscaped. Yes. If you've got hairy ass feet, balls... Bitch or fuck. <laughs> <laughs> Sometimes I gotta shave my asshole. Mm -hmm. That's not a joke. I have to because I get a hairy ass and I don't want dingleberries. No. I want a sanitary area. That's right. And, and, and Manscaped has got it under control for you. Yeah, I don't cut my butthole. No. <laughs> you could be cutting your butthole with scissors, but that would be a very bad thing to do. No, I'd be like why. Edward Scissorhands down there. Oh, God, you're going to make I want to be mess. Edward Manscaped Hands. <laughs> <laughs> the new lawnmower 5.0 trimmer is revolutionary <laughs> you could cut them with needle-like precision <laughs> the hair that is not your balls it's got two interchangeable next gen skin safe blade heads a standard one for taking a little bit off the top and then a new foil blade to go smooth wherever your heart desires <laughs> Sorry, Wherever I'm allergic to good bargains. Desires. If you want to get 20% off plus free shipping, use code BRAINLEAK at manscaped.com. That's 20% off and free shipping with the code BRAINLEAK at manscaped.com. Good love if you did it. <laughs> and your balls would too. But overall, very fun. I, I got three monitors. First of all, mm -hmm. I ordered all three together. They all came. One of them was broken right out the box. It was Good, smashed wonderful. on the side. So I put in great. a return for that. Bought a new one. All great. Put them all up in the stand. Realized I don't mm -hmm. want the integrated one, so I got a freestanding one now that's on its own. The mm -hmm. screws that go into it were too thin for the bracket. So I was like, yeah, mm -hmm. they'll just sit on it. It's not shaking around anyway anymore. I set it all up. It was cool. Went to the bathroom, and then I heard a crash and I went back in and one of the monitors had fallen off and smashed all over the floor. And okay. I was like, this hobby fucking sucks. <laughs> I don't like this. And I keep banging myself into everything. <laughs> I just, it's such a sad thought of you being like, I'm so excited, I've been playing Gran Turismo. I'm gonna get this cool racing sim. And then you get all the boxes and you're like, oh, Fuck do I put this together? This and then thing, you get this thing a drew blood. Big scar. <laughs> You're just like trying to convince yourself that you really, really <laughs> like Sitting it. They're covered in bandages. <laughs> it's so fun. <laughs> <laughs> Meanwhile, I'm fucking. This is the best thing I've ever done. I'm fucking garbage at it, crashing into all the walls. <laughs> like, Whoa, sim racing sucks. <laughs> I have. I have gotten better, though. I do have an appreciation for how difficult it is to drive cars at that speed and how much yeah. you actually have to brake. 
I I'm so excited to try it. I have Simu Cube active pedals, which for anybody out there who knows what they are, they're like they have like force feedback in them. So it's like the adaptive triggers on a PS5 where it like has Ooh, resistance. Cool. So you can dial them into whatever you want. They're ungodly expensive. It's like three thousand per pedal. So I was like, I'm not buying a clutch, I'm buying a brake and a throttle, and I'm just using paddles. Fuck that. What? Yeah. It's three thousand dollars per pedal yeah i want i want to talk about how cool all of this stuff is but by no me i am aware of how stupid it was to spend this amount of money on this thing it's ridiculous For just the pedal yeah ah if you want Jesus. like if you want some of the like best racing wheels like steering wheels it can be like twelve hundred dollars for them what the fuck yeah it's it's crazy but um the the pedals are really cool because I was like dialing them in and I was like, oh, this is like throttle. Yeah, that's kind of what I expected it to be in the brake. I'm like, yeah, it's a little harder to push and it gets a little harder as you push it down, whatever. And then there's like profiles you can put in to be like, this is like SimiCube themselves put in people they trust to be like, this is their setup. And then it was like, this is a Formula One driver. He tried to make it as realistic as a Formula One car gets. And I put it in mm -hmm. and I couldn't press the brake. I couldn't get it to move. <laughs> <laughs> and I, I was, like, pushing it down as hard as I could, and I got to, like, 60% pressure. It's because they don't break. It's <laughs> like, you don't need it. It's fine. All <laughs> gas, baby. Apparently, it's so realistic because when they break, the G-forces kick in, and then it increases the pressure of them in the seat pushing on the pedal. Oh, that makes sense. So they actually use, like, physics to, like, get it. And I'm like, I can't do that. <laughs> like, it has That's motion, wild. but it doesn't have fucking G-force launching me into the screens. Uh, anyway, pretty cool. Don't spend your money on it. It'll it kill your wallet, your bank account, <laughs> and your brain and your face. <laughs> it's ruin your marriage. My whole life is It'll kill your is dog. just this now. <laughs> God. You're just out on the street, homeless, but you still have the racing sim? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I also found out there's a place in Brighton that does it. I was, like, just looking up sim racing stuff, and there's, like, a, a place in Brighton called VR Room that apparently have, like, a bunch of sim rigs that they set up. Like, some at the level, like, full motion, like mine, with triple screens, and then there's others that are just stationary with one screen. And I was like, I wonder if they'd let us go in and film. If we could Maybe. go in and be like, hey, we'll promote your thing if you just let us like film in here and we get a brain leak video out of it where both of us are driving cars. N n no point in not asking. We'll, we'll try it when you're here. Because mine yeah. mine is fun, but I don't think it's set up fully yet. So I... <laughs> Maybe we'll get a little yeah. video of you in it. <laughs> I'll, I'll put it on full motion and watch you <laughs> bounce yeah, around. I want to <laughs> go full motion in the F1 car. Okay, you will make it wanna... two yards. <laughs> Hell yeah. Who knows? I Maybe you're can't. fucking gifted at driving. Maybe. Maybe. We will find out. I haven't, um, uh, I haven't started manually shifting yet because I'm like, I just need to get the physics of how this thing works down. Mm -hmm. And I don't want to have to think paddles. about fucking shift down to third going around this corner and then up to six and fuck that no one no one does that i love shifting and going dee, dee, dee. yeah you know flying oh, your bee wait. around <laughs> how are you gonna oh there it's paddles so you don't need a clutch yeah it's auto clutch damn dude Pretty fucking crazy. You think a formula? You think Max Verstappen or Lewis Hamilton are flying down the road, hitting their clutch? <sighs> no. They don't have time no. for that. They're they too busy yelling time. at their cockpit crew to be like, "What the fuck was that, guys?" You should look up I... compilations of F1 drivers yelling at their crew. <laughs> it's really funny. <laughs> I've I've never watched any F1, and I kind of want to start watching it just to mm. see what it's what it's like yeah see what see what goes down anyway but. we lost half the audience on that conversation so mm -hmm. we should talk uh, uh cum buckets shooting ropes shitting myself yeah, should we talk about should we talk about feet again <laughs> is, that, is that something that we should people we should talk pointed about? out in the last episode because we were saying how many sean isms do i have and somebody said mm -hmm. my sean isms are holy fuck and oh, yeah. I'm shitting myself. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, the holy fuck is very true, actually. Yeah. Do I do that? Yeah. Yeah. 
Dude, yeah, I'm just absolutely. amazed by everything all the time. Mm-hmm. <laughs> just walking into the kitchen, there's a bowl of oatmeal. Holy fuck! <laughs> Whoa, a blue car! Holy <laughs> fuck! <laughs> People say that I say, don't mind if I yes a lot, but that's only when I'm recording. Don't mind if I yes? I like I like changing phrases around. Instead of saying, don't mind if I do, I say, don't mind if I yes. Or reverse I reverse Scientology is another one that I like saying. <laughs> reverse Scientology? Because it's like close enough that people are like, oh yeah, wait a minute. Wait, hold on. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, I'm so excited to come into town, and Evelyn is going to be so annoyed by both of us just being dumb all the time. That's okay. We'll just hang out with each other. She has work to do. <laughs> mm -hmm. I Better wanna, things to do. I want to take you. We found a place recently that did like really good like pub food. I want to bring you around some pubs because we don't go to pubs ever. Yeah, I'm down. I need I need a bodyguard. I'm down. <laughs> yeah. I'll uh I'll do that for you. Put on some cool sunglasses. I'll touch my ear every now and again. To oh, look like I'm wear, wear a black suit. Yeah, <clears throat> people oh, don't believe yeah. anyone that's doing that. I know. I I wonder what what you could do if you just dress for the part. You know, mm. how far can you go? Yeah, there's a lot of TikToks of people doing that kind of shit where you just act like you belong. Yeah. That's mm. right. I saw one the other day of a guy sneaking into like the VIP thing at a festival. Yeah. And he just walked up to the front and he was like, hey, this is me and Mandy or whatever. We own the festival. Like, blah, 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 blah. Do you need anything? And then he just let him in and then oh. he bought the guy a water. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. But now I'm... I feel bad because what if this festival sees that and the guy gets fired? Yeah, I mean... If you're just letting anybody in, your job probably should be put into question because otherwise, why are you there? I don't want people to get that fired and it's a bit mean, but it's like that is why you're there. <laughs> that is true. I saw sure that the singer for Lamb of God was at a festival one time and he got stopped coming up the steps and they were like, yeah. you can't come in. And he was like, no, no, I, I, I do the thing. He's like, do you have your badge? And he pulled it out and she was like, I'm so sorry. And he was like, no, I like you. You're doing your job. I saw that video. It was so sweet. Yeah. It was so, so sweet. I love that. I love it. Yeah, I wonder um, what the craziest thing... Like, could we go to an airport and just be like, oh, I, I own the building, and then somehow five minutes later, you're <laughs> flying a plane. <laughs> <laughs> you say, I own the building, and they let you fly the yeah. plane. <laughs> I want to know the most ridiculous scenario you can get away with. Like, oh, no, oh. My, my dad flies out of here all the time. It's like... He's just a passenger, but I f I feel like an airport would be the hardest place. I feel like you could easier get in to Fort a Knox. different place. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, have you ever seen but, those that shit from like sitcoms from the nineties where it's like they just walk straight to the gate? You just show up at the yeah. airport pre nine eleven. Uh -huh. You could just go straight to the gate. You could do anything that you wanted to. It's kind of weird that that was ever a thing. Yeah. You didn't have to take your shoes off. You didn't have to. Did you have to? No. Wait, did you? Before 9-11, did you have to take your shoes off? I can't remember. Because the shoe thing was a different scenario. Yeah, I don't I think, think you had to do any pre-flight screening at all. I think you just had to walk through like a basic metal detector maybe. Yeah. I don't know. You had your carry-on, you walked through a metal detector and that was it? Mm-hmm. And now Before lithium-ion batteries were even a thing. That's true. It, it's not just 9-11 stuff. It's also because we have a lot more shit that can blow stuff up. I, yep. When I went to the embassy to try and get my visa, I don't know if I talked about this, but the guy at the door was like, do you have a phone with you? Because last time I was there in 2018, I wasn't allowed to take my phone out at all. It was like, I had to be mm -hmm. off. I had to leave it somewhere, I think, or just have it off in my pocket. But when I went there this time, they were like, yeah, you can bring like small electronics in. And the guy was like, you have a phone? And I pulled it out. And he was like, unlock it for me. Like, okay. He's like, touch on one of those apps. And I did. And he was like, okay, come on in. I'm like, is that how you prove someone can't blow up your building? <laughs> did he think it was a fake phone? I guess because some people have like, because that's the thing. If it's a fake phone, what are you worried it's going to do? And the only thing I can think I of is that it's a remote guess. for a bomb. Or maybe a taser. I have a friend that has uh, a taser that looks like a phone. 
Uh, that could be it. Um, so maybe that? Or it's filled with concrete and you can just throw it really hard. <laughs> it's it's filled with concrete. <laughs> yeah, you can fill a phone with concrete. Get a little yeah. tiny a little tiny cement truck. Pour it in the oh, headphone jack. Or the that charger. That would be so cool. That would be sick. Yeah, fuck these racing oh. sims with their shitty 4 GTs. I want to do forklift training. <laughs> I am a scientist that doesn't have enough workspace. I need more labs. <laughs> <laughs> Are you also somebody that likes to go out and party and have a good time? And sometimes you wake up the next day and you say, I have the worst hangover of my life. I feel like I'm going to die. As a scientist, I work hard. I play hard. Oh, baby, come on. More Labs have a drink called Morning Recovery. So morning if you're out recovery. drinking and you're worried right, about, yeah. uh-oh, head's going to be uh -oh. ouchy in the morning, and you don't want that, and you, you got work at 6 a.m. 6 a.m., you got to wake up the next day. Yeah. You can drink the Morning Recovery the night before, before you go to bed, or as you're drinking. Mm -hmm. And then when you wake up, you'll feel refreshed, revived, rejuvenated. You won't feel like a bag of ass. I went out semi-recently, and I had some of the More Recovery. M morning recovery. Some, yeah. Sorry. Drunk right now. Can't remember. <laughs> start time. Start drinking. And the next day, I felt great. I felt completely fine. And the other people that I went out with, they did not feel fine. They and died. Actually, they died. They died. On the way home. <laughs> Car crash. Oh. <laughs> but just like me, scientists actually did a, uh, a study with More Labs Morning Recovery. And users of Morning Recovery felt up to 80 percent better than those who didn't use morning recovery i'm not much of a mathematician so i think 80 percent is a pretty good deal the numbers don't lie they never do people lie numbers <laughs> don't so go to morelabs.com and use code brain for 25 percent off your first order of morning recovery that's morelabs.com slash b-r-a-i-n for 20 percent off your order of morning recovery I can't wait for the morning. I do want to do forklift uh, certification. I want to get forklift certified. I talked to Eddie Burback about that a while ago, just going and getting forklift certified. What if we got um, forklift certified together by the embassy? <laughs> what if we kissed on the forklift? Ooh, Ooh. that's a romantic night <laughs> out. Oh, you bring your sweetie out, and instead of like sitting in the front, you like drive her in your forklift to like make out creek, and then you put each other on the forks and you just raise no. it up. <laughs> That's the closest thing that you can get to that scene in Spider-Man where he makes the big web, the big <laughs> web hammock. That's pretty much the normal human version of that. Yeah. Welcome to my but fork hammock. That's how you stand out. That's how you stand out. I had a friend recently that was going to go to a speed dating thing. And hmm. thinking about it now, I'm like, okay, speed dating. You don't have a lot of time, obviously. It's speed dating. So what do you got to do to stand out from the rest? You have to have a resume yeah. of random bullshit that's going to make you stand out, right? Like being forklift certified or having, uh, salsa lessons. I don't know, salsa lessons, right? Oh, what are the, what are the, what are the things if you are on the receiving end mm. of, uh, let's say like certifications or hobbies that somebody would come up to you and be like, I've got this, this, and this. What would be oh. the most memorable one? I I would go weak at the knees for a plumber. <laughs> Someone <laughs> who knows how to fix my pipes. Honestly, just any, any like handyman kind of stuff. Just, just like, if I date you, I never have to get anything fixed ever again. People underestimate how much value is in a friend who's a handy person. <laughs> Yeah, this is true. Like what's a the, plumber what's and the like, ROI on this date. Yeah. <laughs> You're an electrician. Oh, fuck the third date. Do me now. <laughs> God, it's so it's it's just too good. <laughs> I, I want it's it's kind of like and I mean, I guess you're this friend now, but you're not close to me. It's like having a friend with a 3D printer. It's just like, yeah. oh, you can just make cool shit for me. That's dope. Yeah, mine's a resin That's printer, so it's kind of shit for, like, brackets and stuff. I could make them, but uh, they're very brittle. I wouldn't trust them. 
Hmm. But hey, Wouldn't if you wanted a painted doll gift for a friend of yours, I'll think Wait. about it. <laughs> Why didn't you just 3D print bigger screws for the monitor? Those would not work. Why not? Because I didn't think about it. <laughs> <laughs> it would probably work better than Do you realize not the right size. How right? many things I've broken from the 3D printer because of the curing process, and I'm... I like touch it and then it just snaps off because I'm like, man, this shit's brittle as fuck. Since getting the racing sim, have you 3D printed anything? No, but I did paint my Melania statue. Ooh. Which took a while because cool. I was like, how am I going to do these wings? They are all sorts of colors in the game. They're like gray, they're brown, little, little bits of yellow and green and red. And I'm like, this is a fucking nightmare. But I did it. Yeah, you did it. You did, did it, it. No problem. You should have just. You just should have just 3D printed a whole racing sim. Fuck. Then you wouldn't have had to put it together. That's true. Nothing can break when it's all one piece. <laughs> exactly. I don't know how it moves around, but... You know. uh, I figured it out. 3D printed. Oh, oh, you take the racing sim, okay? You're going to 3D print the shell of a car <laughs> to, put, to put over the racing sim. Whoa! Now That'd be we're sick. Talking, I'm gonna baby. 3D print wheels and everything. Oh, that would be so cool. They exist. <laughs> some people be like BMW and some Formula One companies have like the bodies of the cars, and they just have hydraulics in them. Yeah, yeah. they're 3D printing houses now. I know. We did a whole thank us for it. For the 3D printing of houses. Oh yeah, that's right. Yeah, Can new story. Two years ago. I remember, I remember. Thank Mrs. Coming Up. Have you guys gotten your tickets? I hope so. We have very few left. In real life. It's almost sold out. I think we have like a yeah. hundred of each show left. Dope. It's going to so, be fun. Yeah. Very, very fun. We have a bunch of guests. December I'm going to start announcing them soon. <gasps> Ooh, well, Ethan's one. That was spoiled a I'm long one. time ago. I don't know what I'm doing yet. Oh, do you'll find out. <laughs> the peanut butter Olympics. Oh, yes. How quickly can I die? Speed run If death. you donate five, if you get to $500,000 donated in the next five minutes, Ethan won't have to eat this. But if you don't, <laughs> Ethan will die on stage. It's just me strapped to a chair with a with a spoonful of peanut butter slowly coming towards my mouth. We'll get Michael Reeves to make a robot that's just bringing it to your mouth. That's a really funny idea for a bit that I'm absolutely down to do. Obviously not using real peanut butter. We can use almond butter or something. But like you doing stuff where it's like, hey guys, let's take a break to read some donations. <laughs> and I'm out of focus in the background <laughs> with the peanut butter getting closer to my mouth. <laughs> Just screaming the whole time. It's like, if you guys get to 250K, I'll allow him to use his EpiPen. <laughs> <laughs> So funny. If you get to 400k, oh, so I'll let the ambulance come get him. Man, that's really <clears throat> funny. That's a very funny bit. Maybe the donations, the more donations come in, the more that it like stutters and stalls. Yeah. Or it slows the speed or something. <clears throat> so if, it's if like someone donates like 10k, it stops or like goes back a little bit. Uh huh. Oh, that's so good. Oh, why didn't we think of this earlier? It's We won't have time for a robot now, but it'll just be me with a spoon. <laughs> Being like, huh? Huh? Ah. <laughs> ah, no. Who wants to come up on stage and kill Ethan? Come on, everybody. It can't be that hard, right? Hmm. I'll bring my sim rig. Hmm. The we gotta get the engineers on this one. You know what we should do? Put you in the sim rig and do an egg and spoon race with it. <laughs> <laughs> That's a really good idea. <laughs> You're shaking all over the place. <laughs> My whole house would be covered in egg. Ah, that's really funny. Oh, I love that idea. That's good. Put a tariff that's down. That's really good. I would do really, it if really I wouldn't good. get egg all over everything. Maybe we would just put ping pong balls on it. Hmm. Oh, but the egg is so silly and funny. I know, you know? but I don't want an egg on everything. So we could do Birio Kart, but it's with a sim racing, and it's not Mario Kart. <laughs> and we only can only do it one at a time. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> 
we'll do it. It'll be a in time a room drinking, <laughs> playing video games together. Be like, so That's sick. All it is. <laughs> this is awesome. Wow. We should do a drunk <sighs> driving thing. I think that would be. Funny. I think that that. I think that that would be really fun. Yeah. I think that that would be great. And <sighs> we can. I wonder. I wonder what kind of courses they have. Like, do they have? Do they have anywhere you have to like weave in and out of cones and stuff like that? No, not in those because they're like racing games. I, I think they have. Any I think with... like BeamNG works with it, so I think BeamNG you can probably download anything you want. Oh yeah, can we get uh, like pedestrians in it? What is wrong with you? I'm just saying, we tr this is a sim racing thing. <laughs> nothing we make it as realistic as possible. <laughs> nothing makes you a better driver <laughs> than the fear of killing someone else. <laughs> it's true. It is true. Um, Did you see that clip of the guy going in the uh, around the parade? That was a vague sentence. What are you there talking a, about? There was a guy that had intense road rage in, I think it was Portland, Oregon, and they were they blocked off all these exits, all these exits off the highway because they were doing a big old parade. And the guy got so upset he burst through all the cones and then started driving through the parade. And the police tried to stop him, and he escaped. Did he until kill people? He didn't. No, but he got real close to hitting people. Damn. And then he got arrested. And it turns out he was also uh, on Quaaludes. the list of uh, <laughs> no, worse, on the list of uh, predators. So oh. He was also a pedophile. Yeah. Oh. Just, but he's in jail now, so they got him. And then they put him up in front of a firing squad. And we're like, no yep. more parades for you. No more parades, baby. That's how Portland, <laughs> Oregon does it. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, it's crazy. They have all the dash cam footage. Oh. It's wild. It's insane. He like goes up on two wheels at one point because what? he's like getting around a thing. Yeah, like he goes up on a curb and he's like, Pee! it's crazy. It's nuts. There's some fucking lunatics out there. It's road rage. I, obviously, it's a person per person thing, but is there ever a time like when you're driving? Because I personally don't drive outside the sim. <laughs> mm -hmm. I'm sitting in the sim being like, you <laughs> motherfucker! But it's just me yelling at a mirror. <laughs> <laughs> Do you, is there times when you're driving where you've been like, because I don't think you road rage, but is there ever times where you got like really close or like got so pissed off at somebody else? Um, there have been like a couple of times where like people will drive really dumb. I I wouldn't call it road rage though. Or like like road I'll just, annoyance. Yeah, like I'll be in my car and someone will do something stupid and I'll be like, this fucking asshole. The, the, the thing that I have trouble with is my reaction time isn't good enough in the sense of someone <laughs> will do something and I'll be like, I should have honked. Why did I honk at them? <laughs> Hey, at least it's like the thing of being like, oh, I, I wish I could have said this if I had thought of it. <laughs> Lying in bed at nighttime being like, fucking asshole. Oh, that would have been a good one. <laughs> at least your reaction Sometimes, time is good where it counts. <laughs> yeah, no, I can react driving wise and maneuvering the car, but it's when I have to honk. <laughs> then I'm like, oh, wait, why didn't I honk there? I should have honked. Because no one likes honking. It's like, yeah. they're an asshole, they fucked it up, they almost killed everyone, but I don't want to honk and, like, be annoying. <laughs> it is funny, though, sometimes, because it always happens whenever I do honk, like, someone will be doing something stupid, and I'll honk, and then they'll look back at me like, oh, oh, like, I'm the asshole, even yeah. though they just, like, cut through ten lanes of traffic to try and hit their exit. Yeah. Because I... It's stupid. I think honking your car horn is one of the most annoying things you can do in life. Not not for those scenarios, but just you're like with somebody who's like in your car when you're younger and then it's like, ee, and then immediately I'm like, stop, stop, turn it off, turn it off. You're annoying stop, everybody. You're bothering please. everybody. It's so loud. Oh, <laughs> I, I wish that cars came with two horns, the normal horn and then the, hey, the light has turned green horn. What does because that Because sometimes like? you're waiting. It's just a quick like, doop, doop. <laughs> That's just locking yep. your car. Beep, beep. <laughs> I guess it's just a quick little like. Doot, doot. I, I don't know. <laughs> it's just a it's little just like a little horn. Hey, get going there. <laughs> yeah, just a hey. little like. Oh, hey, hey, moving hey along. you're fine. You're fine. The light's green though. Yeah. Is what I want <laughs> instead of instead of. Hey, <laughs> the fucking light's green. 
you'd press and it's just like, hey, I didn't want to interrupt you and I'm I'm sorry that this is like really annoying, but like the light just turned green. Like if you can move it along, totally up to you though, if you really want to. I I want a, hey, can you go? No worries if not. <laughs> hey, That's uh, I'm, I'm dying and I'm using, losing all my blood. Could you call an ambulance? No worries if not. <laughs> No worries if not. I don't want to inconvenience uh, inconvenience anybody. Yeah, that's me. I'm like at a restaurant. They br I order chicken salad. They bring me out a full pig, and I'm like, "Yep, I'll eat it." Like, I, uh, they I'll work hard. It. I don't want to interrupt it's, anybody. I just won't tip. It's fine. <laughs> I just won't tip. <laughs> that's my least favorite thing about having a peanut allergy is feeling like I'm inconveniencing people. And it's very important because it's my life and I will die. But sometimes it's not the like, hey, I have a peanut allergy. Can you check with the kitchen? That's fine. That's easy. But what I hate is when I can tell that they didn't actually check properly. Mm. When they're like, yeah, I'm pretty sure it's fine. And I'm then I have to be like, no, but can you check though? Can I you, really need you to ask. Can you call the manager? Yeah, that's the worst. Having to ask for the manager is the worst. And I've had to do that a few times being like, hey, can I actually talk to the manager? I don't think that you're taking this seriously. But enough, that's the I American really pastime. Not baseball. I it's know. talking to the manager. It really is. I had it never really experienced is. anything like that until I went to America. And he's sort of like sending the food back. I had uh, never seen anyone in my life do that until I was in America at like 25 years old. <laughs> I don't know if I've ever sent the food back before. I don't, I, I I think, don't think I have. I think we did it recently, but it was only because they brought out like the entire table's wrong food. Uh, so it was like both dishes for me and Evelyn were wrong. And I was like, no, we didn't order that. Mm -hmm. And then they came back and it was like, oh, we actually did order it, but you said what it was wrong from what was on the menu. <laughs> yeah. I, d I hate doing it. I just, I'll just eat it. I'll you know just what that is? Suffer. ADHD mm. and just blatant insecurity. <laughs> yeah. It's I just don't like, like bothering other okay. people. I'm like, I, I don't value myself enough in my life where I'm like, I'll just, I'll face the burden. I'll take mm -hmm. a bullet for someone instead of making a phone call. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh man, making a phone call about it. Oh, there's, there's too much. You're it's good at phone calls though, because you start. You had to call for peanuts all the time. So now you're just immune. Yeah, I'm good at doing the peanut thing, but if there's other stuff, then you know I'm not practiced in that. <laughs> I don't. I don't just, know. You're calling up for something completely random to see if they have like cars in stock. You're like, can you just check with the kitchen to see if you have the F1 car in stock? <laughs> no worries if not. <laughs> Can you, me just defaulting to, can you check with the kitchen? Yeah. I have severe current car problem, <laughs> allergy. Can you check with the kitchen to see if they have another car in stock? I'm calling the vet to make an appointment for Spencer. <laughs> can you check with the kitchen to see if they can have my dog come in to, to get his vaccines? Yeah, Thank my dog has an appointment. Can you just check with the kitchen to see if that's okay? No worries my if not. Has an it's always so funny making a vet appointment because you as the person are calling and it's like, I'd like to make an appointment. Uh, yeah. <laughs> like, especially like for, because for Spencer, he has like a, basically a human name, but you guys calling up and being like, yeah, we want to make an appointment for BB. Yeah, we did. <laughs> when we had to bring him for the diabetes stuff, they were like, and what's your pet's name? BB, just two Bs and then everything's good. And then when you arrive, it's like, we're here to see BB. And then they called up on the phone being like, yeah, uh, BB Smolder's parents are here. And I was like, <laughs> it's like taking our kid out of class. <laughs> <laughs> That's so good. They say BB Smolder's parents are here. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> like, hey. That's way cuter than what the vet does for me. Spencer had to go to the vet yesterday and I went to pick him up. And, uh, and they said, they called up and they were like, yeah, Spencer is ready for discharge. <laughs> <laughs> Like he's in the army? Yeah, he got dishonorably <laughs> discharged. He sniffed another dog's ass and they were like, you have to leave, buddy. He's do the walk of shame. Everyone's you on the side just clapping. Anymore. Like he's retiring. Uh, just saluting him. <gasps> oh, those yes. videos of like canines 
when they have like the toy oh. in their mouth and it's like they made their last bus yesterday and they're leaving and everyone's just at the side. Oh. He's cute. It's <sighs> so cute. cute. I was talking to Jocelyn about this earlier today. I was like, what if we did a video where we try and get Spencer to be a guard dog? I want to do guard dog training with Spencer. It wouldn't work at all. Not no. even a little bit, but it what would if, be a funny concept. What if you changed his personality too much? What if, He's such a shy, tempered little man. And what if you showed him the horrors of war and gave him a taste for blood and then suddenly he's not your nice little guy anymore? That would be so sad! I didn't even think about that! <laughs> just sitting there being like, so how's Spencer today? It's just not him. <laughs> it's just not him anymore. I, I see his oh. face, but behind his eyes, it's just not him. God, that would be so sad. Can't take I that risk. I haven't thought about that. That's like when people talk about cloning their pets. It's like, no, that's dumb. It'll look like your pet, but it won't act like him. And you don't have the memories attached to this yeah. new fella. <sighs> oh, cloning's <laughs> weird. People are like, what comes after you die? And it's like, I, to me, I'm like, I don't know, probably nothing. There was nothing before I was born. It's just weird to think about because now we have consciousness. It's like, what if you clone someone and they come into existence just then and there? Like, if you clone a full person, I'm sure that's not possible. What if you just cloned a full man and then you're like, what did you experience right before this moment? And they'd be like, ah, oh, nothing. That's so damn. weird to think about. I, I freak myself out so often about, like, death. Not just because I'm like in bed late at night, just like what it, what happens? Yeah, and I'm like in my mind, I'm like I don't have any belief of an afterlife. Um, fair play to anyone who does, but I'm like I don't think anything happens. And then I'm like it's so weird to think that your consciousness is just gone forever, <laughs> but you have no uh -huh. you have no consciousness to think about the fact that your consciousness is gone. You can't like reflect on it to be like I don't exist. It's just gone, uh -huh. and then endless nothing. That's weird. Yeah. Endless nothing. And think about, you can't, I'll <laughs> tell you, uh, nothing. Like we as you, like you probably just think of a void, like a black or a white void, but that's something. It's a void. Yeah. Nothing you're a, is, you're aware nothing of is it. nothing. Nothing is nothing. Maybe, ah! I, maybe I should believe in something so I can get some sort of peace <laughs> so I can go to sleep. <laughs> that shit's fucking wild. It's nut. And then sometimes I get sad because I'm like, oh man, someday I'll be gone. But things will be happening for eternity, kind of. You know, maybe not for the human race. Which is funny because we talked like, about <laughs> like a dozen episodes back being like, we have like 800 years left of humanity and we're gone. <laughs> yeah. Uh-huh. It's just like, oh man. It's I, wild. <laughs> I think about that and I'm like, I won't get to see what kind of game graphics there will be. <laughs> I know, right? It's like everyone's like, oh, hover cars, what kind of like healthcare you'll have, what kind of like, oh, you inject yourself and you get all of your things or whatever. And I'm like, what will video games look like in the future? Right? It's wild. And like thinking about, I was thinking about this the other day because I got a new, I got the new iPhone. It's fine. It's a fucking iPhone. Uh, but, you know, we're on the iPhone 15. When are they going to stop using numbers for it mm. you know when yeah. they get to so many generations where it's like are they really gonna call it the uh, the iphone 57 is that yeah at one point so it's is like, the diminishing returns of numbers because the teens are always cool sounding but iphone yeah. 22 sounds a bit like yeah now you're too old <laughs> yeah it's weird it's like when it's i was a kid and it was weird. like Oh, the year 2020? That's weird to think about. The year 2000, mm -hmm. I remember being like, that's so bizarre to say. I uh, I had a bunch of old uh, like home videos digitized, and one of them I watched through the other day, and it was New Year's of 2000. Um, Y2K. And it was really cool. Y2K, baby. Uh, and so it was really cool, like seeing that. And then <laughs> the countdown happens, and everyone's cheersing and stuff. And my dad just goes, "And look, all the lights are still on." <laughs> it was just like very funny, like seeing that actual moment because everyone thought that technology wasn't going to be able to change the date from nineteen to twenty, and yeah. everything was going to break for some reason. It's it's an interesting because 
it was one of those things where it was like no one actually thought that something was going to go wrong, but it was still kind of like, what if though? What if? And it's it's what the same with like 2012 because the Mayan calendar ended. And they predicted the end mm-hmm. of the world, and then everyone was sitting around yeah. for that day, being like, what if though? I remember the same with um, the CERN Hadron Collider when that was turned on for the first time. I think it was like 2008, and I was in college, oh. and I remember people talking about it because they thought it would create a black hole or like the possibility of creating like a little black hole that might end up getting bigger and swallowing the whole earth which now people are like that's a bit dumb that we ever thought that but it was like there's a there's not a non-possibility of it happening yeah and then I remember being in college and it was like what time is it did they turn it on yet would we know how long would it take Uh (laughs) how long would it take I remember I don't remember what date it was was it december 12th 2012 yeah that, was, that sounds something like that sounds familiar i remember being at gymnastics that day and the whole team just being like so do you think we're gonna die tonight <laughs> i also <laughs> just like being at gymnastics and just being like kind of anxious being like i yeah. don't think that anything's gonna happen but i'm a little anxious about it that's why it's a really good indicator of like world ending scenarios where it's like all of us were talking about it, and like none of us really thought it was going to happen. But if it did, we just that wasted that opportunity. <laughs> yeah, it's like, it's like aliens it's come, like, and it's oh. like fuck. I gotta go to work though. Uh huh. It's like I know aliens uh. are coming, and they might kill us all, and this might be my last chance to do what I really want. But what if they don't kill us, and I get fired? <laughs> yeah. It's like Man. oh, that thing comes into your house, and the thing you're worried about is that I don't have to go to work tomorrow. <laughs> what did they what do did they to do us? To us? <laughs> It's so true, though. It's just like, oh, man. That's me with video games. Like, if I die, I won't get to know what video games. Oh, speaking of video games, for a moment, I think we should talk about the big video game news. Grand Theft Auto 6? Yeah, baby. Yeah. They're going to show a trailer uh, early December. Yep. Rockstar tweeted, was it last night or was it early this morning? I think it was like like middle... Um, but yeah, <laughs> middle. They they tweeted <laughs> it, it was middle time. <laughs> I think because uh, it was starting to get like leaked that it was going to be shown, and then they were like, "Fuck it, we'll just announce it because why not?" And then yeah. their, their tweet about announcing a trailer coming in December has almost a million likes, mm-hmm. which is fucking wild to think that a it's video game insane. is getting that much hype on Twitter. Yeah. It's fucking wild. It is so wild. What what year did GTA 5 come out? 2011. 2011? Wow, that's weird. Oh, yeah, because it came out on the 360 and the PS3. Yeah. It? Originally. Same year as Skyrim. That's weird. That's so odd. That is so odd to think about. Um, um, and all they've done since then is Red Dead 2, which makes sense, because when you play Red Dead, you're like, yeah, this took like fucking 10 years to make, because... I don't know how you made that. Yeah. But they also said, we're never going to do something like that again, where it has like so many intricate systems going on and everything has like physics driven and shit like that. But then they keep talking about all their patents for the new one. Like we have a new ragdoll engine and we have a new this, that, the other. And people are saying it's going to be like the biggest leap in generational technology for video games. And I'm like, maybe visually, because now we have very good rendering engines. You have... uh, Something called PBR, which is fa- physically based rendering. Ah, uh, Pabs Blue Ribbon. <laughs> is that a drink? Yeah, it's a really <laughs> shitty beer. Um, physically based rendering is like, oh, wood has a shine to it. Fabric mm-hmm. absorbs light, that kind of shit. And now you have like path tracing, ray tracing. You mm-hmm. have DLSS, super sampling. It's like, shit's changed a lot since the last Grand Theft Auto came out. A lot. I, I hope that people don't ruin GTA 6 for themselves by being like, oh, GTA 6, and then uh, two years go by, and they're like, when's GTA 7? It's like, okay, guys, it's been, yeah what, f- it'll probably be 14 years, because I I doubt it's coming out in 2024. It'll probably be 2025, yeah? Yeah, if there are, well, I'm trying to think when Rockstar normally... They usually post stuff like a year before it comes out. So it might be mm-hmm. holiday next year that it's coming out. But they, they yeah. won't announce a 
date on the first trailer, I don't think. Yeah. And it's only um, one half of the Hauser team that are writing it now. It used to be two brothers, Dan mm. and Sam Hauser, I think. And mm. one of them left to do their own thing, so... I don't know. It'll be one of those things that will come out, and then I feel like I'll play it and be like, eh. <laughs> yeah. I, I think fine. they really need to evolve their mission design and their gunplay. Because, yeah, holy after... fuck, it gets really boring to do a mission that's like, you're in an open world game, but if you veer slightly off the track, you fail the mission. Mm -hmm. I, uh... I kind of feel the same way where I'm like, I'll play it and then I'll be like, yeah, that was, that was fun. But I'm not a GTA online kind of person. No. So I, it's like, you know, that's what the game has lived off of for the past over a decade now. That's weird. Yeah. And they're like a billion dollar. It's a billion dollar game now. Mm -hmm. um, but I, but I very think exciting. it's going to come out and it's going to sell like 50 million copies in its first week. I think yeah. it's going to be the biggest video game launch ever. Oh, I I absolutely agree. I think it will The be... fact that the tweet alone for announcing that a trailer is coming has a million likes mm -hmm. is obnoxious. God. Could you imagine yeah, if your gonna... documentary was coming out and you were like, trailer coming out in a month and you got a million likes on that? That's like... Dude, <laughs> if a million people watch this fucking documentary, holy uh -huh. shit. <laughs> It's fucking wild. It's so insane. Looking forward to it though. It'll be uh it'll be cool to see what they do. Also the I'm excited to see the map because yeah. from what we've heard it's it's what like four or five times bigger than uh, I can't than remember where map. they said they're going. Is it Los Santos again? I thought it was like a combination of multiple maps. Um, um, because GTA Four has a much smaller map than Five, but Four has felt way more alive. Uh oh, Vice these City. These are all just rumors, though, right? Based on that footage, the Grand Theft Auto series' will, latest installment will transport players to Vice City. I think I do remember hearing people say they're going back to Vice City for it. Okay. So, like Miami. Uh huh. Which, I get, I get, I don't know how you would do that, because I was like, you could put Los Santos in it, but those are opposite coasts, so it would be interesting if you could fly from, like, one island to the other. Damn. It's gonna be cool. I, I think it's wild that when GTA V came out was right when I started my channel. That was, like, the first content I was doing was GTA V. Yeah. And I, people are posting on Twitter now being like, what I look like when GTA 5 came out, what I look like when GTA 6 is being announced. I'm like, God, yeah, yeah that's, what, 12 years? Mm-hmm. Jesus. Very weird. And I, because I'm normally like, ah, I don't think I'll do a series on it because it's just such a massive game and I don't want to be doing like 30 parts to something. Um, yeah. But now I'm like, maybe I should do something of it though because I feel like it's going to be such a big game. I think it'll be, I think it will be a fun game, even though I just said that I'm not a big GTA Online person. I think it would be a fun game to play mm. with a bunch of friends. Yeah. Um, God, there's going to be so much when it comes out because, like, thinking about role playing servers and stuff like that, like, it's going to be massive. I think they hired, God, I could be getting my news mixed up. I think they hired some of the online role playing community people to like make tools for six. So when yeah. it comes out, they just have it like ready to go. But mm -hmm. it also has their first female protagonist in it, which mm -hmm. we know GTA gamers and women. <laughs> oh boy. They put peach fuzz on Aloy in Horizon and any other industry would be like, damn, that's some crazy attention to detail. And gamers uh -huh. went, ugly woman. Oh. <laughs> uh. Which is ironic, yeah. considering you act like a caveman, and cave women would have been hairier. Uh huh. It's it'll it'll be an interesting thing to see how the gamers react. Yeah. A bunch oh of, boy. Bunch of fucking chodes. I think it'll be cool though. I'm I'm excited for a female yeah. protagonist because I. Oh yeah. I get very tired of the same shit, and I I'm just. 
I hope they've leveled up their satire to be within modern standards of how... Satire these days is very good and it's very thought-provoking and it's very well done. But mm -hmm. GTA is normally like, why don't you take cum drops for your throat? Deep throat, these cum drops. <laughs> and it's like, oh, you're <laughs> so oh, funny. <laughs> we have a beer it's called definitely... Piss Water, huh? It's like very like 15 year old humor. Yeah, which I guess that's their demographic. It kind of makes sense, but. But I feel like yeah. these days it's like, yeah, people are smarter and funnier and we've grown up a lot over the years. So mm -hmm. I feel like you need to like level up your jokes a little bit. Just a little bit. Just a smidge. Just then again, smidge. Cyberpunk 2077 came out, and all it was was like, "Hey, tits and ass are the future." Do, do you want a <laughs> do you want a dildo? Do you want a dildo with seven vibrating modes and ten heads? You can have it. It's, it's the future. Yours. It's the future, baby. Everyone's modified us... to all hell, and everyone loves sex. Eh, that everyone is the loves future. the plow. That is the future. It is. Let us know uh, what your what your GTA Six uh, predictions are. Yeah, hmm? I... maybe they'll let you be a dog. Oh, I they'll let you be a dog in five. A... You could be Franklin's dog once, and you went and humped another dog. Oh yeah, that's right. Um, <laughs> my, <clears throat> I guess GTA Six would be an anticipated game, but it's not like I'm like you, where I'm like I like the games. I've played all of them, finished all of them. I think four is still my favorite one, but I think, or maybe San Andreas. Uh, I think four has aged the best because I really yeah. liked the heavy suspension in the cars in that game. I haven't played GTA four since GTA five came out. It'd yeah. Be interesting to see how it holds up. But I, I wouldn't say it's like one of my most anticipated games. My, the two games I'm most anticipating now are. Play Dead's new one, the people who made Inside and Limbo, because um, mm -hmm. it's like a space game, and I always like what they do. But they make awesome stuff. I loved Inside. Yeah, Inside's like top ten for me. So I'm I'm excited they to see what do they're a doing. Do a mod where the big meat sack at the end is just Bo Burnham. <laughs> <laughs> Why Bo Burnham? Because of Inside. Oh, Inside. I see. Or Willem Dafoe. Yeah. He was in that Inside movie. Oh, that's right. I never saw that. Me Whatever neither. That's good. Um, that and Control 2 I'm excited for. Yeah. I think those are my I've, two most anticipated. I want to go back now and play Alan Wake and Control because I haven't played either of them. And I've been hearing amazing things about Alan Wake 2. I, um, you could probably just play 2, honestly. A lot of the stuff will go over your head, but... I don't think it's worth playing one and then control and then Alan Wake two. It's just it's way too much. You'd kind of burn yourself mm -hmm. out on their style. Yeah. It's like they're they're great games, but it's like watching too much Wes Anderson where I'm like, two games in, two movies. I'm like, I get it. Yeah, it's like I get it. Okay. You make great movies, cool. but also it's kinda of like overstimulating sometimes. <laughs> I do I love Wes Anderson movies, but I absolutely get like that where I'm like, I get it. You're fucking Wes Anderson. Yeah. I understand that the, the shot is symmetrical and I, God. This is gonna be taboo for a lot of people who love Wes Anderson. I think it's a lot of style over substance sometimes. Mm. Where yeah. like Grand Budapest Hotel, I love. We showed it to Evelyn for I the first time that. a month ago. She had never seen it. And she was like, oh, we should watch more Wes Anderson movies. And I'm like, you kind of watch the best one, and they're all pretty much the same. Yeah. I I feel like that musically with uh, Jacob Collier. I yeah. think of him the same way as, as Wes Anderson, where I'm like, okay, I get it. You have two billion harmonies on this. That's yeah, cool. You're, you're very, and very you're good like, at it. You're so pitch perfect. You know everything about music. Mm-hmm. But it can get very but, fatiguing. <laughs> you, you could chill a little bit. Yeah. Well, you could chill a little bit. Well, in my mind, I think I'm always just a fan of the people who are able to do multiple things. Mm -hmm. Which I guess doesn't really show in the things that I like. Because <laughs> Remedy are one of my favorite devs. 
from software my favorite developer mm. <laughs> um, <laughs> but it's like FromSoft do elden ring and dark souls and like at their core they're the same but ultimately they play very differently yeah and then Extreme. they do something like armored core which i also love and that's way different to play yeah like those that skill set doesn't translate so i want to see like wes anderson like do something else do like a horror movie or something yeah that would be cool because i like ari aster as well who did hereditary in midsummer but then he did <laughs> Bo is not afraid and i'm like i don't think i like this movie but i like that you're doing other things I want to see Wes Anderson make a horror movie and nothing is symmetrical. There's no oh. symmetry. It's a horror movie, but for him. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's just an OCD horror nightmare for him. Uh-huh. I want it. I want it real yeah. bad. I like when, although having said that, I Edgar Wright was one of my favorite directors because of Hot Fuzz and then Scott Pilgrim and Shaun of the Dead, World's mm-hmm. End. But then he did Baby Driver and I was like, I don't like this movie. He did, um, did you see, was it Last Night in Soho? Yeah, I don't like that movie either. I didn't ever see it because I just heard it was bad. And I was like, I don't want to not like Edgar Wright though. Because I like his movies. It just, it feels like he's a director with such meticulousness and everything else that he's done in the comedy world is so good that I'm like, this is a bit like shallow for your style. Mm Mm-hmm. But I shouldn't judge too harshly because it's very hard to make anything. <laughs> it is. At least they're it making is. things. I'm sitting here from my fucking chair being like, hmm, I think the lighting in that scene was a little off, Wes. I think you could have well, had that a little more symmetrical. We're about to revolutionize the industry. And I say the industry as a whole, every industry, with the next episode, with the Topisode. Topisode. We'll be there in person. We'll be there in person, toes interlocked. It's going to be Toes a jar. It's going to be a completely normal episode for the people listening, but for the people watching, it's going to be a fucking nightmare. <laughs> Put the toe filter on the audio. Oh man, toe filter. Yes. I want to I don't even know what that would be. So but I want to hear it. Okay, so next episode, Ethan's going to be here. We're going to do it mm-hmm. foot cam only. Get yep. your lube ready. Yep. And all we can talk about are facts and stories about feet. Perfect. That's all we can do. Toes, feet, That's... any sort of facts or like fun story you have about your own mm-hmm. feet or other yes. people's feet. The Topisode. Yeah. This will be revolutionary. <laughs> people, are, people at home now are like, finally, they're going to talk about something. <laughs> <laughs> All they do is Everyone's ramble and talk spoiled. about nothing all the time. <laughs> Finally, some structure. <laughs> Finally, some fucking good content. Well, we'll get your get, asses ready. Everybody. Get your fucking memes ready now. Start sending us your foot-related memes. Start sending us everything. Make up foot fetish watt pads. <laughs> Everyone use hashtag Topisode on <laughs> That's T O E P I S O D E. Topisode. Yes. Yes. Exactly. Get ready because now the bit has gone too far and we're doing it. <laughs> <laughs> and then the week after that, the asshole episode where I literally the shit a- myself on camera. <laughs> the asshole sode. <laughs> yes. The ass episode. Yes. It's oh, just our butt God. cheeks. <laughs> it's my right cheek, your left cheek on one body, and our faces are on each cheek. And our mouths are connected in the middle on the butthole. <laughs> on the asshole. <laughs> it's like half and half. <laughs> Holy One side's going to be a, a lot hairier than the other side. I just realized I was about to say, holy fuck, that's good. <laughs> I know, I I said this is true earlier in the episode. I I didn't even catch it anymore. Another thing I realize I do is, hell yeah. I say say hell yeah a lot. Hell yeah. I think, yeah, you do. You do say hell yeah. Uh, My newest thing in my episodes for everything is like, this is sick. My whole Spider-Man episode was like, this is sick. And I'm like, I need fucking better mouth. (laughs) I need better (laughs) mouth. (sighs) Yeah. Well, well, everyone, well, thank friends. you for listening. Well, friends, shall we? <laughs> shall we? <laughs>
Thank you for listening to another glorious episode yeah. of the Brain Lake Podcast. And we'll see you, uh, I mean, we won't see you in person, but we'll see each other in person in the next episode. Yeah. Ethan, thanks for picking up the bill on this one. Hey, absolutely. Make sure to uh, absolutely. tip your server. Absolutely, baby. <laughs> absolutely. Oh, we got to come she up with some good pals. toe puns for next episode. Get ready. Get your leakers You're gonna, out. Get, You're going to oh, fuck your Leakers dad next, next week. <laughs> <laughs> leakers, get ready to fuck your dad. Rain leak.